In this video we're looking at WooClap. WooClap is a student response survey type tool, great in lectures for checking student understanding. So we're going to run through how it works and show you some of its features. So it's a similar sort of thing to Poll Everywhere in its setup. So let's go through it. You can log on with your email. This service is a freemium model, so you get two free questions and then there's various upgrades so just to show you uh, at the time of recording these were the, the plans so free plan allows you two questions uh, and then you obviously have to pay six pound a month six seven pound a month um, to access the additional ones so you can see that the charge is there so let's go back this seems to be more and more frequent the way that the companies are doing it now. So having logged on, you can click create an event or you can import an event. So import an event means if a colleague has created an event, they can share it with you and you can modify and amend it. So I can go into my new event that I've created and I can start to add questions. So we've got a wide range of questions. We've got multiple choice, poll, find an image, find on an image, so you find a spot on an image, a rating, an open question, and a word cloud. Uh, find a number, matching, and sorting. So you've got quite a few different options there. And all you do is you click on the question to add it. So I'm gonna edit one of these just to show what it looks like. So this is a poll question, so if I click edit, I can enter my text, I can also add an image. I can enter my answers and add images alongside that. I can have additional answers there. And over in the panel on the right hand side, I can choose whether the response is viewed as a poll. So I can see the results as a poll or I can see them as a word cloud. I've also got the option to allow multiple answers and the option to have a timer displayed to restrict how long the students have to respond. If I want to delete question, I can just click delete. If I want to add additional, I can click plus. And then when I'm finished, I can hit save. So that's the editing function. We go in and just edit this question for example, to show you. So again, you can put in your question. This is to create a word cloud. And then if you want, you can actually tick a box and it will the questions will be graded in, in their response. And you can set some other restrictions there. So you can allow multiple answers, you can moderate the, the responses before they're displayed. You can get participants to like each other's answers and you can set a timer. So we just go back. I'm gonna delete one of these. So if you click on the dots, you can reset it or delete it. So I'm just gonna delete that. And show you one of the others. So if we did the, let's go with sorting. So again, you put in your question. And then you could add your responses in there. I'm putting car names, but you could put in dates. It could be all sorts and then hit save. So that's how you add your questions. You can, as I say, delete them. And then when you're ready to go, the code or the link that students go to is just up the top here. So when you're ready, you click start. It brings up the screen that shows the students how to access. So it gives them the URL or they can SMS you can see that there and you can also display the questions and see the responses so if I just tag across this is what the students will see so I can see the responses so this is the question that they come up I can choose which one and then I can hit submit 
we'll close that. We'll then go back. I can also alter the display as well there. And then when I'm ready, I can move on to question two. So when I'm happy that I've seen all the students have made their responses, I can click number two. I can also hide the results if I wish as well. So that's quite a useful feature. So I'm gonna move on to question number two. As I go on to question number two, I can switch back to the student view and they, in this case they're using the up and down arrows in order to get the order they want and then they can hit submit. So I'll toggle back to the teacher view and I can see what they've responded. So it's quite nice that so just brings them up the, the messages so you can show that when you're happy you're finished you can hit exit and you've got various other options available to you there so there you have it it's a very quick and easy way to set up um, I like the different options of questions that are available. I can see tutorials, if you need tutorials there, you can also alter language. So at the moment we've got a number of options, language there. When you click on my event, it takes you back to that page there. So there you have it. A quick look at WooClap. I think it's a, a useful additional tool to help check student understanding and, and potentially encourage engagement and participation from students in lectures. So I hope you found the video useful. Keep watching, keep subscribing, and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.